So this right here, this is Kansas. Uh, I mean, not much to really look at, but this is where we go and we play Smash Mouth football. It's been 11 years since we lost on this field. It ain't gonna be tonight! It's a balmy fall day here in Kansas, 77 degrees today, but going to cool off a bit in time for Andale football's big game on Friday. You know the team is working their tail off to keep the nation's longest active winning streak alive. Pick it up and go, King. Pick it up and go. Andale football to me is a group of kids that, that are tough, coaches that want to help kids to be the best that they can be. Come on, push your body, let's go. It's the highlight for our community. Obviously, it's become a, a big statewide deal with, with the success we've had, winning 56 in a row, and then, you know, now getting on the national scene with, you know, having the nation's longest winning streak. Stupid score! Outside arm, go! You got a sprint! Every team now, that's where they have our names circled on a board, and having that target on our back, I mean, it's it's hard, but it's kind of fun too. They're coming for me. Why not just go back and back at them? I mean, we know we have to keep working each week to uh, make sure that streak keeps going. Yeah, this is a tough spot here. Let's go. It's where you gotta walk. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be sick. When you gotta, you gotta work. Be nasty, you're nasty. Oh. Ready? Go. 2018 was the last game we lost. It's one of those you look back and say what could have, should have, would have been because we were undefeated going into that game. But it's been a while since I've thought about that before, What just what it would feel like to lose. No, that ain't going to work. Do it again. Do it again. Good, 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 good. The only team that can beat Andel is Andel. Go get it. Good. If we execute the way we should and we play with the kind of effort that we expect, then, you know, we're going to take care of business. So. It's fun to see if we can do that every Friday. There's definitely a pride in what we're doing. We'd almost feel like we're letting down the town if we lost the streak. As much as I love you guys and I love our team, the 2019 year, the year that started off this streak, is definitely the most dominating team I've ever seen. Yeah. We all have that different view, because I always viewed you and my brother Jake's year is the most dominant team. I think we all feel the pressure from the streak and we want to keep it alive. And I think that's a good thing to feel us like that. I mean, everybody wants to take the zero from us right now, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, you don't want to lose the streak. You don't want to be a class to lose the streak. But I wouldn't say that we're always thinking about it, especially not during the game. Kids that go out and work hard, and then there's kids that just go out there and play the part. It's kind of a thing for us. And we, we plan on being kids that work hard. <laughs> so. Coming into town's collegiate, they're our biggest rival. It's always been that way. But them just being the Wichita kids and being this like private school or whatever, it kind of just, we didn't like those kinds of schools, so it was kind of teams to go after. So we really want to beat that team. We've been rivals for as long as I can remember. I'd like to break the record for uh, takeaways and possibly pancakes, that'd be nice. I'd say the biggest Part of the rivalry is the rural versus city. This is my grandpa's farm. I'm wearing the shirt right now, Jam Farms. Uh, we all work jobs in the summer. Uh, Cooper works with his dad. Cody works uh, Andale Construction. He also works on his family farm too. Right now, everybody's uh, getting ready for corn harvest. Uh, you might watch out. <laughs> There's a lot going on. It's not just sitting in a tractor all day. I mean, you're working on pivots, pumps. Uh, you're kind of a jack of all trades, doing all. Mentally tough, stronger, and especially when you're sore and you gotta keep going. You have some sort of manual labor job, it's not easy, but it's what makes Andel tough. Yeah. The work ethic here, from the families, from the kids, from the community, that's what's been maybe one of the biggest things and part of what the success of this program's been. Well, there's a lot going on during fall harvest. Uh, every day you're out there, and I'd get out, go eat lunch, go eat dinner, hop right back in and go keep hauling grain and all that. Our people are blue collar, hard working people. Our kids are used to being outside and rough and tumble, and that's helped with our football toughness. These all control the grain carton itself. 
you can open up the gate, that'll release all the corn, which I don't want to do right now or else we're going to have uh, a bad day. <laughs> and overall, it's pretty sweet. Radio and all that. I love this lifestyle. I mean, it's quiet, happy life. It doesn't get much better than this. I don't, I don't, I don't see how it could, honestly. <laughs> the weights we have all these stretches and stuff we jog up and down the court and stuff we just come in and play volleyball for 15 minutes oh, he, touched he touched it dude he touched it it's fun actually yeah the seniors are usually all on a team and the juniors they think they're good they know we're better than them bro Like this will be my last year of football, and then it'll be straight wrestling after that. So. Hey, you're gonna set it up for squat on this side, and you're set up for bench on that side. So you know, traditionally, obviously, we've had some really good football teams. A lot of our guys have not went on to play. It's high school football has been the deal, and that's they've been happy with that. Owen Eck has been an absolute stud for us, but he's gonna go wrestle at Oklahoma. I've been wrestling since I can walk. I've won my freshman, sophomore, junior year, I won state, and I'm going for my fourth and my senior year this year, so. Here's a trophy. Uh, this was a Nationals trophy that I got from back in the day. Ian Awad obviously plays offensive line for us. He's a dude. He might go on and do some college wrestling. Great wrestlers make great football players, in my opinion. Get used to getting hit and getting dirty, and we love that, so. That's the reason why we got a cowboy up and to play hard-nosed football and to go out there and give our best every single day. Dustin, make a move! Make a move! Make a move! Let's say, look, if there's sure. weakness, maybe it's throwing a ball against him. Sure. We just got to keep it in front of us. Yep. No, agreed. We're going to make some plays. You know, I really haven't been that nervous before a lot of games. This is a game that makes me a little nervous. Okay, take your time in the huddle. Just take and sit. We're covering everything we can, and when you run out there on Friday night, hey, we've done the best we can. Hey, thunder that. Hey, thunder it. Might as well. But there's always that thought in the back of your mind, could we have done more, or should I have done this? And so sometimes that brings out a little bit of, of nervous energy. Hey, you either win big or you lose big, all right? Here we go, PAT, PAT. I'm Marlo Sullivan. I'm a senior, and I'm the kicker for Endo. The boys that were playing football said they didn't have a kicker and that they needed one, so I just decided to give it a shot. It's just the way we're raised. It's just the whole community. At Endo, we built that strong community and parents and coaches where everyone just puts in the effort and cares. Here in Andel, there's a lot of pride and community and tradition. We're gonna run H right. You guys know how to do that? Yeah. Right. Ready, break. We got a lot of big families here. We got kids that have brothers that played, you know, eight, nine, ten years ago, and they were all part of these great teams. And so they're just that expectation in the community of excellence. And it's not that we just think it's gonna happen. It's because we've worked our butt off. Go. <laughs> oh, oh God, who? Yeah. <laughs> This is the majority of the football players. It's a big uh, bonding thing that we get to do. Come over, hang out, and get prepared for the game the next day. The state championship uh, helmets are over there too. All the players signed it from two years ago. I can always have fun with whoever I'm with on this team. I mean, it's just fun to play with them since second grade all the way up to my senior year of high school. This is where we come to hang out Thursday nights, get to watch a movie. I think we got 12 seats down there, so it's just dogfight, obviously, as you can tell. And uh, we have a great wrestling match for the final seat of the night. It's one of the more fun years I've been part of. Uh, the junior class and sophomore class are pretty fun to be around, fun to hang out with. It was pretty pathetic, but it was, it was pretty funny, too. <laughs> I'll give them that. They're not wrestlers, so. They're all just goofballs, I guess. Feels good sitting in this chair after the victory. It was first one to tap, heard him in lights out, 
for him. And I would have had my seat. But I think the couches are overhyped. That's all I gotta say. You come on. Yes. yes, sir. It is Friday in Andale, and that means all eyes are on the football team tonight. It's been five years since the Indians have lost a game and 11 since they've lost at home. But their big city rivals from Wichita will be the toughest test yet of the season. Should be a showdown tonight in Andale. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. You're behind. Catch up. We're in here every day, all the time. Consistently, they're getting all their sets and their reps. Consistently trying to push to get a little bit better. And you look at that over a four-year time span, and all of a sudden that skinny freshman becomes that muscular senior, and you have a bunch of them, and they help you, and it shows out on the football field. Bad day to be a collegiate Spartan. <laughs> We're gonna destroy collegiate tonight. Plans to put up a lot of points, not let them put up any. Branson, no eggs, extra half. My name is Amy, and we are in Andale, Kansas at the Bruni Cafe. It's been in our family for 35 years, and it's kind of the, one of the staples of the town as well. It's where the football players obviously come to have breakfast. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these kids we've seen yes. since they were yeah. toddlers. Yeah. You know, Watching and they're them grow up. seniors now. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty neat. It so. is. Dude. Did you get cheesecake? Dude, you gotta go with pie. They work hard. They work they hard do. not through just the ball season, but through the whole summer. Yeah. They do morning weights every morning. I mean, it's dedication. Yeah. They get up at 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning and lift weights. Thank you. Where we get served nicely yeah. on game days. There's going to be like thousands of people yeah. at this game yeah. tonight. Several thousand. Because I think who they're playing is undefeated as well. Right, mm -hmm. right. We just wrapped up at Brunin's Family Cafe. We're going to head over to the field for game time. We'll see you guys there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Most high school places don't do the tailgating like we do. We have a good time and we know our kids are good and we're enjoying it as much as we possibly can while, while we can. If you're not doing anything on Friday night, you're up at the football field. I mean, everybody's there. I think we're gonna have a pretty successful night tonight. Guys, it's a special night, okay? And if you're a little bit nervous, that's a good thing because you care. And if you're really excited, you should be, because this is a freaking, these are the guys you get excited for. They're good enough to beat us. But if you're scared, then you're from Collegian, I guarantee, because they're freaking scared. So let's crank it up on them. Let's get after it. Hey, for us! Let's go! It's been 11 years since we lost on this field. It ain't going to be tonight! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Football is the greatest game ever invented. As long as you guys play football, we'll do our best to stay out of it. We're going to see the Indian offense start this game off. Hopefully we get it started off in the right way here. Oh, and that gathers it up at his 15. Makes his way up the middle field to the 20, 25. Slips a tackle up past the 30-yard line before he's driven down by a host of Spartans at the 32-yard line. An eye formation. Sam Hart takes it now over the right side. Has a first down into the clear. He's at midfield. Runs into a player now at the 40. There's a flag all the way back at midfield. Sam Harp will take it on the right side. Man misses the place with a flag down. Sam Harp is in a sprint to the end zone up the far sideline, but this thing's coming all the way back. No way. Collegians giving up a couple big plays, but Andale has shot themselves in the foot twice now. Just not something we've seen for Andale throughout this season. Counter back near side to Owen Eck, and he breaks into the clear. He's in midfield. A guy to beat up the near sideline. Finally written out of hand. And thankfully, there is no laundry on the field. You gotta stop us, baby! You In there stop for a us. touchdown, a one yard touchdown dive. Good job, good job, good job. Come on, Cooper. And we'll see the collegiate offense for the first time looking to throw on first down. Now the pocket collapses. He is wrapped up and dropped. Good job. 
job. Keep it on. Yeah. 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 Only out to his left is a design run. He breaks a tackle. He is in the clear. He is at midfield. It's a foot race to the 40, the 35. Guy had an angle and finally driven him out of bounds. Here's the snap. Counter flag play back to the right side for Owen X. Slips the tackle inside the 15, the 10. Slips another tackle down to the 5, dragging a body in the end zone. Touchdown, Andale. Owen X takes it 20 yards the hard way. Set the tone. Dial in. We got a fresh new half. Do not give them a chance to breathe. You got me? Yes, sir. These are the ones you remember. Right now, definitely the momentum, the confidence of the Spartans, you know, from Wichita Collegiate is at a high right now. Uh, they got Andale's defense reeling and... Oh man, what a nice see a short field. Pass time, now finally flush with pocket to his right, throws it to the pylon in the corner, touchdown, Collegiate. Hey, get off the hey, wake up, wake up, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fun game, real fun game. A uh, dog fight the whole time. We just pounded the ball through and we came out the win. <laughs> There's a lot of intensity there and there's a lot of effort and, 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 and you can see that and that's why we've been successful is because people care and they're willing to work hard and you know do all those little things and that's what makes it very meaningful for me. At the end of the day, Andale football is meaningful for a lot of people in this town. I appreciate you watching that video, but before you dip, do me a little favor. Go hit the OT shop and check out some of the new drops. They're all bangers. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite, but I promise it'll be worth it when you do.